One of the primary concerns of economics is people's well-being. We're not just interested in money, we're not just interested in gross domestic product, but actually people's happiness. So in the course, I'll look at the relationship between happiness and well-being, well-being and gross domestic product. I will help you to get an understanding of basic economic terminology. So you'll learn about what is inflation, what is gross domestic product, what do these things mean. If you read the newspaper, you sometimes have the impression that economists disagree with one another, but there are many things about which all economists agree, and one of them is the importance of free trade. And for Australia, this is a particularly important topic, and so it's something that will be covered in the course. Another thing that we'll cover in the course is the idea of trading off costs and benefits. Economists think that when people make decisions, the way they make decisions is they add up the costs and the benefits, and if the benefits are higher than the costs, they make that decision. If you take the course, you're going to learn uh, the economic way of thinking. You're going to learn how, to, how economists think about the world and how they analyze problems. You're going to see why economic ideas are so powerful and why, why they have such an impact on decisions that are made both in government and in private enterprises. You'll learn to apply basic economic reasoning to situations around you at your workplace and at home. From a personal level, uh, I think taking the course can help you make better decisions just in your own life. Economics is the study of decision making under constraints. All of us face constraints. All of us want to make good decisions. And thinking about problems and decisions that we face within that framework can actually help us to make better decisions. The course is designed to be a fairly general introduction to economics. So I think it would be a benefit both of people who work in private industry, but also people who work in government. One of the important questions that economists ask is when is it appropriate for the government to not be involved in private market activity and when should the government intervene in private market activity? If you work for a large coal miner, you probably care about this. If you work for the government and you're regulating the large coal miner, you probably care about this as well. The course is lecture based, but the number of participants will be limited. We will break up into small groups on periodic occasions throughout the day so students will have a chance to take what we've learned in the course and apply it to a particular problem or a particular case study that we'll look at. If you take this course and you develop, even to a small degree, some skills in making economic arguments and in thinking about things in an economic way, that it will make you more effective at your workplace in terms of decision making and in terms of making an argument that other people will be swayed by.